Hello! Welcome to another video. So today I'm having a little bit of an off day. Uh, it's not been a bad day, but it started, the first, you know, occurrence of the day was kind of an unpleasant one, so it kind of foreshadowed the rest of the day. Um, so today was a holiday, so I didn't have any real work, so I went to uh, my high school to practice with the uh, brass band. Before in my last video I said jazz band, but it's brass band, it's not jazz band. So I went to go practice with my brass band. Um, and in Japan, of course, this is not just brass instruments, this is basically just a wind ensemble, but they call it brass band. I don't know why. But anyway, so I went to go practice with them and I left here at probably about quarter till noon. Um, I was going to join them after lunch and so I left here, and right outside of my house, there's a road that I cross to go up the stairs and go down the main road. Uh, but this road is under construction right here. So there's a construction company out there. And it's, it's basically a very, I mean, big project right there. They tore up the entire road, and then they repaved it. And... Uh, in the company, one of the, I guess, foremen, one of the head people, because he's wearing a tie all the time and everything, uh, speaks English very well. And one of the days I was coming home, and or going to work, and he, you know, directed me around, and he asked me if I understood Japanese, and I told him, you know, I understand a little bit. And so he started talking to me in English, and he speaks English very well, very nicely. And... Uh, so the first day I met him, he like was telling me, you know, he asked me where I was from first and then he had told me, you know, he studied in Michigan and he basically went on about his life story and, you know, I have to go to work. I'm, you know, running late as it is and I'm just like, okay, you know, I don't mind talking with people. I actually love talking with people and hearing their stories, but I was in kind of a hurry. So, but, uh, I listened to him. I didn't rush him or anything. Um, but he told me, you know, he went to the University of Michigan and studied there for a little bit, but then decided he wanted to come back to Japan. And because he did that, his professor betrayed him or something. And I don't quite understand what he was saying, but I mean, I understood every word he said, but it just didn't make it much sense. But basically, he was supposed to be a professor, and he ended up not being a professor because his per his teacher had betrayed him or something. So now he was working long hours. And he told me he was like 60, and he looks like he's 40. But the thing about Japan is it tends to be that way. If a Japanese person is 60, they probably look 40. And, you know, his manner of talking was very unique to most of the Japanese I talk to. Like, most of the Japanese I talk to are very smooth talkers, you know, very calm talkers, but he's a very vivid, harsh Japanese man. He's very harsh, very angry when he talks. Like, his voice is just so full of anger. And, it, you know, the first few times I talk, the first couple of times I talked to him, you know, I could just hear the anger, but, you know, it wasn't too much of a problem. But today, the third time I talked to him, I got up late and I left. He, he said, oh, today's a vacation. You don't have to do anything. And I told him, oh, I'm going to uh, my high school to play with my brass band. And he talked a little bit more and he said something about not being able to practice English today. And I said, oh, your English is really good, though. And he was like, it should be. And, you know, that right there put me back right away because in Japan, Every Japanese person I've encountered so far has been very, very humble. Japanese people as a whole, from what I've, from my experience, are very humble. You know, if they do an excellent job at something and you tell them that, no, no, I didn't do good. No, that's not good. And it's something that I'm picking up now, you know, anytime anybody praises my work, I'm like, no, it's not that good. But, you know, it's something I'm picking up now from living here, you know. So for him to say it should be, I was like, eh? So it was kind of, it kind of put me back. And then he was like, oh, but I'm, I'm, I can't brag about it. And I was like, kind of just did. 
But, you know, so I talked to him a little bit more. I was talking to him, and he was telling me of all the places in America he's been. And he said he'd been to California. I was like, oh, you know, I lived in, or I told him, oh, I love California because I was born in California, and I love going back to California, and the beaches there are beautiful, and I really love California. So I told him I love California, and he was like, oh, I hate America. I hate all America and all Americans. And I was like, eh? And, you know, because he knows I'm American because he asked me the first day we were talking, you know, where are you from? And I told him America. Um, I told him North Carolina. And he had even made some mention to North Carolina in our talk that day. So he knows I'm from America. And he was like, I hate America and all Americans. And I'm just like, eh? And, you know, I know that I've, I've, I've heard people talk about, uh, these sorts of experiences and how, you know, sometimes you do, you are looked down upon because you are foreign. I mean, that's the way it is anywhere you go in the world. If you're foreign, you know, the natives are going to be like, oh, foreigner. And I know that, I know that. But I've been here for six months and so far all of my encounters have been good ones with Japanese people. And, you know, the Japanese people are so kind and, you know, Everybody that I communicate with, all the Japanese that I communicate with, they've helped me out immensely, you know, getting settled into Japan. And they always ask me, you know, oh, are you doing okay? Is there anything you're not accustomed to? Can I help you in any way? You know, they're all so helpful. And even, you know, like the uh, fruit stand guy, the guy who runs the fruit stand, he's so nice to me. Every time I come in, you know, he talks to me a little bit and... Uh, there's a woman at the Hyaku Inn store that speaks English that talks to me a little bit. And all of the people I've ha come in contact with have been really nice. And for six months, it's been that way. And then now, you know, having this man, you know, tell me straight to my face, oh, I hate America and Americans. I was and he's working right outside of my window, you know, eight hours a day. It's really uncomfortable for me, and it kind of threw me off. I was just like, huh? And, you know, after that, you know, I was kind of just like off in another world all day, you know, kind of thinking about this. And he told me, he told me after he said that, he was like, yeah, you come here, and you don't even make an effort to speak Japanese. So I started talking to him in Japanese, you know. I told him, uh, demo uh and I, you know, told him, Hotsuan muzukashi, demo try. And I told him, you know, basically I said I study every day, but it's very difficult. The pronunciations are a little difficult, but I will try. And, you know, he didn't, he just kept on talking to me in English. You know, I was like, well, if you want me to speak Japanese, speak Japanese to me, and I will try with all my might to understand you. But, you know, it just, like I said, I knew that there was this sort of deal out there and that it could happen and that I could encounter it. But the fact that this is the first time I encountered it since I've been here for six months, it really threw my day off. So, but I just thought I'd make a video about it to let you know that even in the really big cities, like I live 20 minutes from Tokyo. I mean, I don't live far from Tokyo at all, and there's so many foreigners around here, and even in this area, you can be faced with the sort of uh, discrimination, the sort of negative affect of being a foreigner. So, yeah, it was kind of, it's kind of an experience, and it's part of the experience, so I'll just have to fight through it. But anyway, I just had to share uh, I hope you, I, I don't want to say enjoyed, because this wasn't a very enjoyable video, but I hoped you gained something from this video, um, and even though there is that one harsh, mean Japanese person, you know, there's one out there for every thousands and thousands, you know, I've come in contact with so many Japanese people that are so nice, so don't let that discourage you in any way, but do know that it is out there and that you are likely to face it, even if it is six months into your stay. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Peace.